What's going on everybody? Chum Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about a new version of T-Rex Miner that was just dropped this morning, supposedly unlocking the full potential of your LHR cards. So, real quick, this was brought to my attention by Mr. Altered Component. If you guys don't know who he is, please go check him out. Guy's fantastic YouTuber fun to watch and obviously I owe him credit because he actually brought this to my attention before the latest miner app which then sent me a notification on my desktop as soon as I got into this this morning so right here t-rex miner 0 0.24.0 download for Nvidia we're gonna click on that brings you to this github page where you can do the direct download so let's read about it a little bit it says LHR unlock dual mining mode. You can now mine ETH, 30% of full speed and other coins, 70% simultaneously with LHR cards using their full potential. Available combinations along with memory requirements. So they list a few things you can do basically dual mining with. They have ETH and Ergo, eight gigabyte requirement. So your GPU itself has to have eight gigabytes. As you guys know, the 3070 is an eight gigabyte card. So 3070s and above, this will work on. Then it has Ethan Raven, eight gigabytes plus on Linux, and you need a 10 gigabyte minimum on Windows. So the 3070 inside Hive OS, which is a Linux operated system, it'll work there, but it will not work on Windows with an 8GB card 3070, you need to have a 3080 or more. Same thing with ETH and Conflux, you have to have a 10GB minimum on that GPU to be able to do this. Then it basically goes down with uh, some commands you need to put into the miner with like uh, LHR Tune, LHR Tune 68, a few small things, you guys can read up on it a little bit more if you'd like. I'm going to go down here and I am going to download the Windows zip file. Once this thing finishes downloading, you're going to have to go all the way to the right and click show all. And then you're going to have to choose to keep the file because it thinks it's dangerous, a virus as usual. Keep anyways. Then we're just going to pull it up right here on the screen. We're going to click extract all, extract, and then there we go. All right, so I like to get this to like a blank screen so you guys can actually see it right here nice and clear. What I want to do is grab this t-rex folder and just drop it onto the desktop so i have a shortcut now so real quick i just want to click on this uh link right here so it gives you option one dual mining lhr unlock you can scroll down through it and it gives you the basic cash rates that you should be expecting with the power limits and the overclock settings for ethan ergo for ethan raven it's basically just like a generic overclock i guess if that makes sense just core zero memory a thousand uh it, it basically walks you through the whole thing because this was my biggest concern how do you basically overclock ethereum and raven two completely different algorithms one is core intensive one's memory intensive so it's a little strange but at least they laid it out for you guys so you can just follow this linux is obviously 2000 memory and windows is half of that which is a thousand core zero for Ethan Raven but you guys get the gist of it so that is inside that link if you click on it right here inside t-rex miner on the github so now let's get back into the miner all right so here we are with the miner all set extracted we have the shortcut on the desktop now what we're going to do is scroll down and as you guys can see the bat files are already created it says LHR unlock dual ETH conflux LHR Unlock Dual Ergo ETH and ETH Raven. So I am going to do ETH and Ergo because that is the easiest to overclock to both memory intensive algos. So let's go to more info. I'm going to choose run anyways. So once it's open right here, you don't have to input anything specific. You just need to put in the stratum that you're using, Ethermine. That's perfect. I'm actually probably going to change this to the uh, US version you got to change your wallet you can scroll over a bit you can change your rig name then it goes to the second algo this one's on wooly pooly i'm going to change that as well 
and then you can put your wallet address in here same thing rig name over here and the password you could change it so let me edit this up real quick and we'll be right back all right so here we are all edited up as you can see i blew up the letters so you guys could see basically i just changed the stratum to us ethermine then i changed my wallet address and i changed the worker name to main pc if we go to Oh, the second miner where Ergo is going to be mined, I changed that to Nano Pool alongside my other 3060s just because it's easier for me. And to be honest, Nano Pool has most of the hash rate, anyways, for that. Right here is my wallet address. It says dot, then main PC. And I put in my email, which is chumpchangexd at gmail.com. If you guys only have like this one PC, you're gonna want to have that email in there so you can change payouts or whatever you have to do. I think that's like a necessary thing you should have if you don't have any other bigger workers on this algorithm. And then I just left the dash dash pass 2x because that doesn't matter right at this moment. So what we're gonna do is go to file, go to save as. Now right here, I already saved this file under dash nano at the end of it. But when you save it, or when you're going to save it as a new bat file, you need to type .bat at the end of whatever you're going to name it and change the text documents to all files. Once you save it, then it will pop up as a bat file and it will work properly. So I'm not gonna save it, but you guys need to click save, then you can exit this out. Once you do that, I would recommend you guys come back to this right here where you can reference the, again, overclock settings, where it says 1,000 on the memory, zero on the core, 82 on the power limit. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So grab MSI Afterburner. I'm gonna type in 82, exactly like it says, hit enter. Then go to the memory and type in 1,000, hit enter. I'll just leave the fan on auto and we will hit the check mark. So now we can minimize that, we can minimize this and we can start this up so let's see what happens again i'm recording so we'll start the miner up to see what's hashing at the hash rates might be a little lower but when i'm not recording everything isn't running in the background then this thing will pull full hash rate and i'll throw a screenshot right here so you guys can see all right so there we go it's up and running as you can see the rtx 3070 is getting 49.58 mega hash on ethereum that is because i am recording gpu one which is the 3080 ti lhr is getting 29 mega hash almost 30 on ethereum and 195 on ergo which is fantastic so i am officially utilizing the entire card and it is not limited by lhr running these two algos simultaneously to be honest, this is a massive game changer. All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Hopefully this helps a lot of you guys out. I know it's gonna help me personally maximizing my profitability on these LHR GPUs, so I'm super excited for that. Again, huge shout out to my man, Altered Component. You are fantastic. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention bright and early this morning, just before the latest Miner app could. Again, He's a great YouTuber, super fun to watch, wicked smart. Go check this guy out, show him some love. Just before I forget to mention, I will leave this entire bat file in the description below. I'll leave a link to our Discord in the description below. Misfit Mining, you guys will love it. If you're new, please come ask questions. We'll be more than happy to help you out. I will also leave a link to the bat file inside misfit mining discord but please make sure you guys change your wallets i do not want you guys mining to my address as always i appreciate you all for watching please stay safe and i'll see you guys real soon peace